for me and for our congregation, we are deeply challenged that if these nine are willing to stand and take a bullet and confess their faith, then Christ followers at Garden Valley Church in Roseburg or anywhere can stand and live their faith out every day. The pastors that, that were summoned to the staging area, it was just an amazing display of God's grace and God's care uh, for the community. There's 40 churches in Douglas County that uh, are part of a network and, and because we've been doing the work of, of building unity amongst ourselves, uh, the payoff came in a crisis. Actually, it was quite overwhelming. If you didn't stay focused on the one and you looked around, it was, uh, it was insane. I've heard this from two eyewitnesses. He asked, uh, uh, if you're a Christian or you have God, stand up. They stood up. Um, and he asked them, are you a Christian and do you have God? And when they said yes, then he said, well, then this won't hurt. The others were scared now. And he demanded of so everyone in the room, he was going down row by row and he said, what's your religion? And they didn't even want to say a Buddhist or I'm a Jehovah Witness or I'm a Mo They just, they were frozen in fear. So he shot them multiple times. I don't see it as a, as a Christian thing altogether because there was other faiths there, you know, and they got the same treatment as the Christians. For a lot of the families that were there, that they were going to wait for another five or six hours just to find out that their loved one wasn't coming home. It was a pretty raw day. Everybody has got a story, and it's going to be days and weeks and months for a lot of these people to begin to walk through and find some health and healing.